Hi there again, I am prepared. I am prepared for this. I created list of new words what I learned from 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 this. Yes, I'm a Russian man who learns English through my own experience and I learned vocabulary. I have learned vocabulary from Dave Chappelle com compares Hillary Clinton to Darth Vader. Stand up, it is so excited. And but maybe I'm so like playing my role of that i'm so exciting okay let's do this uncle tom let's do this together i will understand it and after this video i will show you my vocabulary what i've learned let's do it is a th th second attempt to watch this video but right now i will do this with comfort yes i voted for hillary clinton of course i did i voted for her because I liked what she said vastly better than I liked what he said. But to be honest with you, at that point, that shit was like watching Darth Vader do the I Have a Dream speech. <laughs> that bitch is mean as hell. She had already karate kid swept Bernie Sanders' legs from underneath him. Boy, it was hard voting for that shit. But that, it was the lesser of the evils. I know you were a Clinton supporter, Miss I. I'm sorry to say like that. It didn't feel bad voting for her, but it didn't feel as good as it should have. She was gonna be our first woman president. They were gonna make coins out of this bitch. <laughs> and somehow she just missed the dunk. Of course she should have beat him. Of course she should have beat him. You okay, know, need to stop on this moment. I will show you some uh, slides right now. Let's look at this. One moment. First word I learned. It is vastly. Well, vastly means uh, to a very great uh, extent or immensely. It means, oh, Jesus, it is so big. And also, I have a dream speech. It is speech of Martin Luther King. I learned it before I didn't know about it, before I started to watch. It is so educational content. Educational content of Netflix is a joke. Next, Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders, it is... Uh, I don't know who is it. I learned that this uh, governmental person, but uh, I don't know maybe he did corruption maybe not if you can please let me know in the comment section who is it next to make coins of of this bitch to make coins out of this bitch means that maybe they will print face of uh, clinton of this uh, of this girl on the coins maybe it, this means this and next word it is to to miss a dunk one moment i will show you right now it is uh, to miss a dunk it means look jesus it didn't save it oh my gosh it should it should be <laughs> it should be give <laughs> but right now we have only it means it means the dunk it is when you have this basket and you do this uh, and uh, from this up, this sky level, jumpy. Okay, let's continue watching. Voting for her felt like it was bittersweet. It felt bittersweet means that tastes sweet, but after some bitter taste. Like I was lucky enough to eat Halle Berry's pussy. <laughs> this is so important joke. It is so funny if you will be if you will be native. I will show you right now. Look, we have holly berry, holly berry. Yes, we have holly berry. It is special berries from Christmas, for example. And we also have holly berry, holly berry, holly berry, and holly berry, holly berry, holly berry. It is the same thing. It is actress. It is holly berry, it is uh, berries, and it is so important to understand this joke, to know, to know English. If you don't know English, you will not understand this joke. And whilst I was doing so... Whilst it is British uh, while. 
He fucking farted in my face, man. Now you understand, I'd still do it. But boy, I wish she didn't fart in this great nation's face. I voted that day, and then that same day, I flew to New York City. I had work. That night, I was in a comedy club in New York, and I said to an audience almost exactly what I just said to you. And I didn't know that there was a journalist in the room. And this journalist wrote an article. The headline of the article said, Dave Chappelle is an avid Donald Trump supporter. Everything's greedy. Yeah. I had no idea the paper said that. And you know how I found out? My wife called me from Ohio the next morning in a goddamn panic. David, David, what the fuck is going on in New York? I said, I'm being good, but what have you heard? <laughs> and my wife said, the paper is saying that you're a Donald Trump supporter. I was like, whew. I said, don't worry about that shit, baby. <laughs> Nobody in their right mind would believe that. And she said, no, David, people believe it. And then she started reading the comments to me. Oh, they were terrible. All these black people calling me all kinds of Uncle Toms and shit. <laughs> I should tell you, buddy, this is a very serious allegation from one black to another. Allegation means that you, you are another. <laughs> I was incensed. Uncle Tom! Incensed means uh, so angry and so with this, Jesus Christ. And Uncle Tom, uh, it is uh, epithet. Epithet. The ep epithet. Epithet. The special, uh, special, beautiful speech uh, slang. Uncle Tom, it is also book. Uncle Tom is book of somebody about slavery. And also, it, it is like an epithet for some slavery black people. How am I, Uncle Tom, nigga? You the one that reads The Observer. But this joke, you're the one that reads The Observer. How to understand this joke? Because uh, if you read Observer, Observer is so political and so uh, stupid, uh, maybe uh, may stupid news from propagandic news. And uh, if you read Observer, you are Uncle Tom, because you are slave. Anyway, all this shit goes down, and uh, Saturday night rolls around. And now Trump is the president, and I'm hosting Saturday Night Live. And I didn't really like prepare my monologue, I just kind of winged it. I didn't understand, I just kind of winged it. And at the end of the monologue, I don't even remember what I said. I said something like, you know, fuck it, like we're uh, historically disenfranchised, and we're gonna give him, something about we're gonna give him a chance if he gives us a chance. I don't know what I said, but whatever I said, I, I really wish I didn't say that shit. <laughs> it was not worth the trouble. It's not worth the trouble means uh, that uh, it is unuseful. Now I walk into the barber shop and all them black people just be looking at me like, yo, Dave, what's up with your boy? <laughs> yo, nigga, yo! <laughs> not my boy. <laughs> Cause I don't care if you're a Republican or Democrat, if you support him or not, any objective person is gonna have to admit that uh, this motherfucker is having a terrible go of it. <laughs> he really is. We've had presidents before that have done bad jobs, but this shit is worse than a bad job. It's scary, scary. to watch. <laughs> Holy shit, it's like seeing a crack pipe in your Uber driver's passenger seat. And this joke, I, just, I understood right now. I didn't catch this joke before, but I, right in my first view. 
but right now I just the whole 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 uh, whole jokes of this uh, stand up and let's uh, learn vocabulary together with me I understood this uh, that if you are first time on my this video you can uh, also watch my first attempt to watch a uh, first attempt of watching this and uh, I understood whole jokes and let's learn vocabulary. Dave Chappelle, comrades Hillary Clinton to Darth Vader. Okay. Second slide. Wesley, we, we learned it is big enough. I have a dream speech. It is, I have a big dream to reduce uh, slavery around us. It is uh, Martin Luther King, Bernie Sanders, corruption motherfucker and to make coins out of this bitch means that to create uh, to create uh, specific uh, coins of face uh, this uh, Hillary Clinton to miss the dunk it is uh, to do to do basketball playing games and uh, not to catch uh, not to smash this uh, basket Bittersweet it is about uh, specific berry or about taste, flavor. Holy berry and highly berry. Holy berry, holy berry. It is uh, the same thing with pronunciation, but holy berry it is uh, actress. Whilst, whilst means uh, the same thing like uh, while in... Uh, in America, but whilst it is the way how British speak. Next, Evid. Evid, the point is that you can be too greedy, but I can. It is Donald Trump. Evid, Evid Donald Trump supporter means that you are so greedy. I will, I will smash every girl to pray for Donald Trump. Uncle Tom. Uncle Tom, it is... Uh, a person, I said before, it is uh, slavery, slave, slavery, slavery claiming phrase. Yes, uh, it is epithet, uh, like a slang. You are Uncle Tom. You are so black, and you are slave in this, uh, in this room. Allegation, allegation. It is claim. Yes, if you are claiming somebody, it is allegation. And uh, it is uh, maybe will be wrong, typically wrong. To be incensed, to be incensed means that you have uh, many of uh, steam inside of your head. It is going away from your, from your ears, and you want to kill somebody because you are very angry and, and enraged. The observer, it is a special, uh, special newspaper newspaper i don't know for what but uh, maybe it is honest maybe not but i think that it is uh, dishonest not worth the trouble means that not super important and useful and uh, difficulty required crack pipe yes i understood this joke uh, in my first view of this stand up i didn't uh, catch i didn't find a point of this joke Crack pipe, it is a spe specific uh, smoking Mary Jane thing, and uh, I I found uh, I right now I understand what is crack pipe. Crack pipe, it is spe specific tube. In Russia, it is illegal, but in America, I think that is legal, and legal uh, by helping of Donald Trump or I don't know who, but maybe. Uh, because of uh, Donald Trump, because uh, this talk was politician. Thanks a lot for watching, I hope you enjoyed, but it was so incredibly good to watch this whole, uh, whole stand-up and to understand new vocabulary, it is really cool. I, I am smarter than I was before, than I was one hour ago when I started to watch my first attempt, and I I learned, uh, I, will, I will say to you, 16 new phrases and words or words and or and it, and slash or cool 
cool really one hour it is 16 words if you will do that okay and also comprehension scales of listening it, it means a lot to me support me if you want if you don't want support don't support and uh, be a nice person always improve yourself daily and uh, maybe you have your own passion and i have passion to learn english language to the level of fluent and native person to do this need to learn culture and culture we can learn through comedia through comedians through movies through music through anything in our world that near of uh, of this country thanks a lot see you next time bye bye